have completed the chapter in the spring circle senior point. Recently we have completed. And I think all of you have gone through the chapter property. Now today we are going to start the chapter statistics. Actually, I think all of you have gone through the syllabus also. In our new statistics syllabus, the step deviation method from mean and the frequency polygon representation. That is called actually the Ojib representation. That two things has totally deducted from the syllabus. And the new reform syllabus having that will not having that two topics. One is the step deviation method from mean, and another one is that uh, frequency polygon or that OG to draw that one. Whatever so, we are going to start our exercise number 14.1 today and directly I want to show you the application and how to do the sum. One sum I will do, related homeworks will be given to you. What you will do? First of all, you go through the complete video to understand the process and write it in your copy. Try to understand by this sum. If you can understand only a single sum using that, you can do so many sums. That much I can say. But whenever you will see the class, you should have to be very much careful regarding the process. Where to apply, how to apply. Process you note down in your copy. If required to see the class twice or size, see, then you do the sum. I think you will get the good this thing, knowledge about this chapter. So let's start. Exercise number 14. Point 14.1 and I will start from question number 2. See, class 9 minimum you have learned statistics. There you have learned to find out the mean, to find out the median, mode for ungrouped frequency distribution pair. But our recent syllabus of class 10 is for group frequency distribution table that in the class intervals must be there. Now you know already a group frequency distribution table can be of two types. One is continuous, another one is discontinuous. How can you understand the classes are continuous or discontinuous? If the upper limit of the first class equals to the lower limit of the second class, if like the classes are given, upper limit of any class is equal to the lower limit of the next class, then the classes are continuous. If the upper limit of any class and the lower limit of the next class is not matching, then the classes are discontinuous. Okay, then let's start it. We have just chosen question number two. And this is actually the first exercise is related to mean. You have to find out the mean. And the mean, actually three processes are there. First one is the direct method. Second one, assumed mean method. And the third one, step deviation method. So to find out the mean, there are three methods. One is the direct method. Second one is the assumed mean method and the third one is the step deviation method. And in our syllabus, the step deviation method is deducted. So the two methods which I am going to learn that is the direct method and the assumed mean method now. Though I can say one thing, the step deviation method is most so not so hard, it is also the very related to these two methods. Whatever it is, as it has deducted, so we are not going to discuss about this. So only these two. So I will take a single sum first with a continuous group frequency distribution table and I use both the method to solve the sum. And then I will show you for discontinuous also. Show you mean I will just give a hint and I think you can do it. So before to find out the mean, one thing I must say you that one you have to remember. The classes you need not to make whenever you are finding out the mean, especially by direct method and assumed method. For 
for these two cases. Whenever the group frequency distribution table will be given to you, you need not to think about it is ungrouped or grouped. Sorry, it is continuous or discontinuous. Whenever the frequency distribution, group frequency distribution table will be given to you, and the question is that to find out the mean. As your syllabus is only for direct method or assumed method, so I must say you need not to read about that the frequency distribution table is continuous or discontinuous. Whatever it is, whatever it is, you will apply the same method whether I am applying here now. If it is discontinuous also this method, if it is continuous also this method. Okay? But if abbreviation method is there, in that case, so I have to make the classes continuous. As it has detected from the syllabus, so you need not do it. Okay, so let's start. Here, question number two. What is given? You just run the table. Uh, first of all, I will do by direct method. And then I will do the assumed method. Though, whatever the sum has given, find out the mean daily wages of the workers of the factory by using the appropriate method. Here you see the daily wages are quite larger number, three digit number. And in this case, the suitable method actually is step deviation. As it is not there in our syllabus now, I can say the more suitable method out of these two will be actually assuming method. Though I do this sum using the direct method also and assuming method also. So daily wages in rupees. That is actually the class interval. Then given frequency. This is number of workers. Number of workers. That is actually frequency. F I. Okay. Then we will find out. So this is actually given. So write it first. 100 to 120. Then 120 to 140. 160 to 180. And 180 to 200. And here the number of workers given 12, 40, 8, 6, 10. First of all, we have to find out the class mark. So first of all, we have to find out class mark. Class mark. And it is divided by XI. How to find out? The formula to find out the class mark of any class is a lower limit of the class plus upper limit of the class divided by 2. So you can say class mark is actually the middle value of the class. So what is the process? Lower limit of the class plus upper limit of the class divided by 2. That is the middle value of the class. So class mark is called actually the mid value of the class. Okay. So 100 plus 120, that is 220 divided by 10. If you add this, it will be 260 divided by 2. So what is that difference? 20. So next term must be 120, then 170, and then 120. You just check once. So I have taken out the class mark of the first one and the second one. I just seen how much is the gap is the difference. Difference is 20. So I increase 20 to get the other one. And you just check once. You find out by one limit plus upper limit divided by two, you will get the same answers. So I have taken out the class mark. Now, now we have to assume a mean. That is called the assume mean. That means you have to find, you have to just choose one of the appropriate or, or you know, just the appro approximate middle value. Here five meters are there, so easily you can say the middle value is this one. So this one we are just using as as you mean and denoted as capital A. If suppose there are six number of values, so out of all those six values, from the middle two values are there, from there any one you just take as as a limit. Clear? But first of all, I want to do this 
sum, not by adjoining method, by direct method. So first of all, we are doing the same sum, this sum, by direct method. Though this sum is more suitable by adjoining, but first of all, I want to show the direct method. For direct method, you need to choose the adjoining. Frequency ready class for ready. Now we find we have to find out if I into a sum. Just in this we have to find. 12 into 110. Then 14 into 130. Eight into one fifty. Six into one seventy. Ten into one ninety. Now we find out summation of the things. Add them all. Okay, once you check again, 6, 9 plus 2, 11 plus 8, 19 plus 3, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. You have to find out summation of 3, 5. 16 plus 8, 24. 24 plus 14, 38. Plus 12, 50. Therefore, mean equal. So, what is the problem to find out the direct mean? FISI by summation of FISI. So, 7 to 6, 0 by 50. So 145.5. This was actually the mean daily wages. So I'll write here, therefore, mean daily wages equal to rupees to 145.5. I think you understand. But rupees dollars will be a cash dollars will be a two digit. So you like it, one cash. Clear? So this is the method direct method to find out the mean. I think you understand this one. So this one completed. Now again you start it by assuming method. Actually I will not wrap everything. Some part I will wrap and again I will start. But whenever you do in your copy, you start the table again from first. Okay. This one completed. So again you write here. Assume mean method. Mean method. Then you start again. Okay. So how to start this one now? Just I am just. Checking the checking the name. This one is the name as as you mean method. Okay. So as you mean method, you have to as you mean. How to as you mean method? Later. From all those values of class mark, middle value or nearest middle value, that one you have to as you. If there are six number of values in the middle, there are two values. Out of those two, any one you just take. Here are the five number of values because odd number of values are there, so the middle one should be taken as the adjunct. Now we can have deviation, DI. DI is called the deviation. Or can you say this? That as you mean, we are going to subtract from each of the class. Okay? This as you mean, we are going to subtract from each of the class. So 110 minus 150. 130 minus 150. 150 minus 150. <coughs> 170 minus 150. 190 minus 150. Now I find out DI. This column I multiply with this column. 12 into minus 40. 14 into minus 20. Do you remember? Process is different, but the answer level will be different. Direct mean method got the answer you got. As you mean method also, you get the same answer. 8 into 0. 20 into 6. 40 into 100. So here it is coming actually. Minus 160. 
here it is coming at 20 so minus 240 summation of di is at so now as in the formula what you have subtracted from all that a so it will be a plus summation of di at i by summation of it. This assumption you have subtracted, now we have to arrange it. Well, why this assumption method is uh, good rather than that I have to that? Because you just see here, calculation becomes shorter, smaller. If it is step deviation method, it will make more smaller. A, A mean 150, di is mean minus 240, summation of mean 50. 150 plus into minus is minus. So it's coming actually. I'm just waiting to find out that if you can find out the mistake. 